All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to an Elmwood Trail where we last left off in the last video. We kind of discovered a little bit, but we, we still have no idea where Zoe's at. We still have really no clues, but we did kind of discover a little bit through where she was the night of her disappearance at that party. Kind of like, you know, Brad would like, they dared somebody to dump a drink on her. I, I don't understand it. They dared somebody to jump, dump a drink on her. She got really upset and mad. Um, Lily showed up at the party to, I guess, get uh, Rohan. I, we, we started calling him Rohan because I couldn't pr pronounce his name. I don't know if it's Rajan or Rajan or Rajan. I have no idea. So we called him Rohan. Um, Lily came to get Rohan out of there. I guess he was uh, maybe getting into a little bit of a scuffle with some of the boys there. And uh, in the process of that, Lily gets thrown into the pool. Uh, I, I can only assume by Betty, but by somebody. Some, one, one of the other girls pushed her into the pool, which was really uncool. And uh, Zoe got really upset about that as well. And then creepy Mike showed up and tried to uh, <laughs> take advantage of a vulnerable situation of Zoe. And while Zoe was upset and he, he tried to lean in for a kiss and <laughs> <laughs> Zoe shut him down as she should have, and Creepy Mike left, you know, uh, with, without anything, which was great. Uh, and, and that's where we're kind of left off at. We, again, have no idea where Zoe's at. We did get some clues about some mysterious car wash. And, you know, Zoe's brother, Zach, got a call, what he thought was a butt dial from Zoe. And in that call, there was these knockings. And if you counted the knocks, it, it gave you the phone number of the car wash. Is it possible that Zoe knows where she's at and she's just kind of given us an idea? Like, she's at this car wash. If we could just find that car wash, we might be able to find Zoe. I don't know. However, we are picking up right where we left off. I think it's like 47 days of her disappearance. We have the diary here. We have a new diary page that is locked. We're going to go ahead and figure that out right now. Where I always find myself in times of blue, in times of gray. Not many visit this cursed place that that screams the words, stay away. So we know that obviously this is a clue to this four-letter word, and we're going to figure that out right now. Let's see. So what, what do we got here? Not many visit this cursed place that screams the words, stay away. Let's check her photos. Do we have anything in like the photos? Not really. A cursed place that says stay away is kind of like a cemetery, right? Hmm. Oh. There it is. There's a picture of Lake Isle. It says stay away. So it's I S L E. That's gotta be the uh that's gotta be the code, right? To her diary. I S L A. Let's go ahead and put, oh, went the wrong way. Let's go ahead and put the, go ahead and put this in real quick. It's got to be it. Yes, I'm a damn genius. But something just doesn't feel right today. Maybe it's not just today. Lately, I have started spending a lot of time alone. Mm. I don't know how I'm getting used to this. Maybe it's the feeling of being alone or my love for the old elm. I still remember the first day we went there. I'm glad Kev showed me this place. The smell of nature, the lake view, and the first time I was sitting under its shadow. I knew this is it. That's my spot. Some people say that it's not safe to go there at night. I couldn't care enough, though. Enough about the old elm now. I received a strange email today. It looked like a usual advertisement until I saw that thing again. So she's been alone recently. Maybe, you know, she's been a little bit depressed or something. Uh, but she likes sitting in the sitting with that old elm probably over there on uh, Lake Isle, that, that big tree there. Uh, but she saw that thing again. And, and then there's a strange email. So I'm sure we... You know, the, these are all little clues and stuff. Figure out the purpose of the strange email in Zo that Zoe received. Yeah, so which one of these was a strange email? Was it the... 
The Betty Johnson. Uh, that that seems like a strange email to me, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would be the strange email? Not the flight alert. Crypt X. Riverstone car wash, maybe? Maybe that's the strange email? Yeah, that definitely looks strange. Have you tried our new deals that can help cover the V, your dirty tracks, A? So it's, it's like V-A-U-L-T, vault8.com, vault8.com. So let's, um, yeah, so all those letters were highlighted. So vault8.com, let's go ahead and search that up, vault8.com. Oh, I'm a damn genius. Begin. Find a way to the vault two paths lay in front of you. First one takes you through a city road and the other a forest trail. Which one do you choose? If this is something that's doing, that, that, that we have to kind of like act as Zoe, Zoe's going to take the forest trail just because she likes the, the, uh, the, the, the old elm. And there's a symbol there. That symbol was also in one of Zoe's pictures. Very interesting. Find a way to the vault. Did you uh, do you go do you go through the dense forest or walk along the path? Maybe the dense forest. You hear a rustling noise coming from the woods. Do you try to locate it? Why not? Sound becomes more intense and loud. Do you still follow it? Sure. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. That <laughs> sound starts ringing repeatedly in your head intensely until you pass out. Let's try again. Let's go forest trail along the path. Not Probably not good. You, you have reached the lakeside. You hear a creature growling. Do you trace your way back? Hide. Let's, let's hide behind the old tree. You are safely hidden now. There's something shining in the lake. It's a key. Take the key. Oh, the, the damn animal still found us uh you took the key but it alerted the creature will you distract it <laughs> you hear the creature run away and you trace your steps back where do you go next it's got to be the city road right do you choose to go towards the neighborhood that is well lit or the other poorly lit one poorly lit one you hear someone's footsteps racing towards you what is your plan of action we, we turn around and confronting them. Footsteps stop and you don't see anyone. Do you continue walking? <laughs> Someone grabs you from behind and takes you away. <laughs> that wasn't good. So, all right. We're doing it all over again. We're going back through. Long, poorly lit. Run. Uh, sound of footsteps stop along an empty road. You see a street light flickering. Do you check it out? You see an open manhole right below the flickering street light do you go down inside or walk straight we're going down <laughs> there are two ways which way do you choose right or left uh right <gasps> a leaking yellow gas makes you fall unconscious awesome doing it all over again we're gonna get back to the manhole we're gonna go left this time all right we're back at the manhole and we are going to go left you see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's the vault. Do you have a key? I do have the key. No way. We found the vault. See, if I would have just turned left instead of turned right, we would have been perfectly fine. We have the key to the vault. You have unlocked the vault. Your code is 123, no four, five, no six, seven, eight, nine. So no, no, uh, no four or six. Perfect. So we have the code. Use the code 123. Five, seven, eight, nine. Where, where do we use, do we use it at vault eight? Where do we use the, where do we use the code? Is it in the email maybe? Oh, we have to call that phone number. We have to call the, I think we need to call the, uh, the car wash and use our code. Remember they, I think they asked us to put a code in. I don't remember the calling functioning not detected on this device. Oh, we got to go back to our phone, maybe. Where's... I don't remember the phone number for, for the car wash. Hmm. All right, so I had to go back, and I had to double-check what that phone number was. 
And I do know what the phone number was now. It was 316-4212. Welcome to Riverstone Car Wash, where you can find the cheapest prices and the cleanest cars. Press 1 to book a car wash. Press 2 to find out the latest offers. Or press 3 to learn more. Press 1 to know about our timings. Press 2 to join our club. Or please enter your membership code to go. join the club. One, two, three, no four, five, no six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you for joining. We'll be sending cards with you. Yes. Damn genius. All right. Connect the clues retrieved so far. The car wash membership code was retrieved by uh, from Vault 8. The Lake Isle in Elmwood Forest was Zoe's favorite spot to go. That Definitely that. Uh, Zoe received a red envelope with a strange symbol. She did. The number Zoe tried to give to her brother is of the car wash that required some sort of code. That's true. Vault 8 website also had that strange symbol. Very true. Uh, Vault 8 seems to talk about a city and a forest with a lake. Um, what, what Zoe having to do with the forest favorite spot and I don't know, is it, is it that? And it's not that one. <laughs> so we have, we, we know that there's two symbols there that that's a hundred percent. The car wash code with the vault eight, that, that wasn't it. The number Zoe tried to give to her brother was of the car wash. The car wash membership code was retrieved from vault eight, vault eight, um, it was this the whole time. I knew it was. And then Lake Isle and Elmwood Forest was Zoe's favorite spot to go. Vault 8 seems to be about a city and a forest with Lake. Perfect. I, I, I knew that. I was damn genius. I, I, I knew it the first time. <laughs> Whoever is behind the email and Vault 8 must have sent Zoe the red envelope with the symbol on it. There is something about the lake that connects all of this with Zoe. Did Zoe complete the Vault 8 and use the, that code? The car wash seems to be a cover for everything they're actually doing. Why was Zoe connected to all of this? And we, and we just don't know. We have no idea yet. Complete the data recovery process on Zoe's phone. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Entering the data recovery mode. Oh no, another little puzzle. <laughs> so what do we got to do here? Probably have to fill up all of the all of the uh, uh, blocks. Either fill them all up or make them all disappear. I'm I'm sure. Probably going to be more difficult than I thought. <laughs> All right, so I had to reset to figure this out. Um, and then I kind of took a glance at it and and I figured it out. And you can actually solve this puzzle in eight very easy and simple, simple moves. First of all, all the corners. One, two, three, four. Second, top left, bottom right. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter if you do top left, top right, or bottom left, bottom right. You still get these pluses. And then, and that was a uh, uh, turn five and six. And then you got seven and eight. Easy. Damn genius. I'm a damn genius. And that's how, but I, but that's how you complete the puzzle there. Simple. Very easy. All right. Read the recovered group chat and gather the information. So we have chicks and kicks. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and start from the very, oh, the very, very, you know what? We might not, we might, <laughs> we're not going to read all through it. We're, we're not. I'm going to, I'm going to slowly scroll through it. Maybe we can find some, some interesting details. They're talking about the party. Kyle, very, very, very surfer-esque type of dude. Brad was the one that, uh, dared somebody to throw a drink on Zoe, who who is basically dating Zoe. Just talking about, there, there's Betty, Valley Girl Betty. They're not talk, really talking about much of anything. If you want to know what they're talking about, you can, you can read it yourself. There, there, there's a lot. There's a lot here. But I'll scroll through, I'll, I'll scroll through pretty slow, that way you can figure it out. We got Brad's phone number there. We'll have to remember that in case we 
need to talk to Brad. There was a message highlighted down here at the bottom. And that's going to be the message that we need for our next clue. It's Brad here. This is what? Now you're going to wear a dress gifted by Kevin. Oh, that's why Brad dared somebody throw a, a drink on Zoe. Because Brad was jealous that Zoe was wearing a dress that was gifted by Kevin. Yeah, that was that was that one hundred percent the reason why. It looks like, it looks like my you know I, I was I was experiencing this problem uh, with the last videos too. My game, anytime I try to play, it starts to glitch and starts to lag out on me. So I got I'm gonna have to reset the game real quick and get back to the chicks and kicks group chat. We got the blinking message up here for Brad talking about Kevin gifting the, the dress to Zoe and Zoe's going to wear it to the party. So clearly Brad was not very happy about that. And I think there was another one down here with Kyle in it. They cannot find out about the party man will be dead. Probably talking about, you know, the police. Oh, I'm starting to glitch out again. There we go. Not gonna scroll too much anymore. Yeah, it's starting to lag. I mean, you, you you can see it, right? You can see it lagging out on me quite a bit, right? I don't know why it's doing that. I want to listen to this message from Brad real quick. See if we can click on it. Okay, guys, listen to me. Come to my place. We need to talk and make sure no one finds out about this. We are the first ones they'll approach. We need to be ready. You can even see it in the, the voice message there. Like, it's just, it's very laggy for me for some reason. Let's see if we get out of the group chat, if that'll that'll help. Yeah, it's helping a little bit. All right, Kevin. So Kevin was the one that gifted the dress to Zoe. Kevin says we live in an era of smartphones and stupid people. <laughs> The past has told you, Zoe, these parties are just not my thing. I think you're going there, please. I need someone to go uh, who won't go crazy, please. I mean, it's just Kevin talking with Zoe. Of course, the message is kind of lagging out. Be there in 10 minutes. Wait for me outside in five minutes. So it seems like Zoe might have been meeting up with Kevin, or maybe, maybe Zoe was liking Kevin more often. So right here is when Zoe started going missing. And uh, Kevin's reaching out to Zoe like, are you there? Like, what's going on? Uh, you know, he's saying that he's freaking out. Gave a statement to the police today. Turns out I am the only one from school who agreed to give their statement. Strange, because nobody else wanted to know that the party was going on or wanted the police to know that the party was going on. Merry Christmas. Wish we could celebrate together. Where are you, Zoe? I miss you. As we used to say, police here sucks. It's confirmed now. Met your dad today. They're still worried and looking out for you. Police have closed the case today. They say it's a runaway. Surely they didn't uh, They they didn't know you. Zoe, are you still there? Every day has been hard since you were gone. Remember the day before that party? Do you remember we were sitting there by the water? I just missed that so much since you left. So it seems like Kevin and Zoe may be have been sharing the uh, the the old elm tree together, <laughs> sitting there looking at the water, getting to know each other very you know closely. Who knows? I wish you hadn't left that day. Sometimes it seems like you're a lot more to me than just me than just a friend. I thought that. Uh, leave it. Nothing. Bumped into Brad in his gang today. He seemed very rude things, or he said he said some very rude things to me. But it was just about me. I can ignore those. I think all of this, these messages, what do they mean now? Interesting. So Kevin's definitely very upset that Zoe's missing. We got a new piece of mail here. Down here, the Riverstone High Drama Club. Calling for auditions of the, the, the Theatrical 2022. Riverstone High Drama Club. 
We have a new picture here. We have a new gallery here. Interesting. Some friendship bracelets, maybe, between her and Kevin. Long live all the magic we made. Long live all the magic. Yeah, and they're 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 like friendship bracelets. And I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing it might be for her and Kevin. Maybe her and Lily or or, or Betty. I don't know. But there's the picture of the old elm that, you know, Zoe said was her favorite spot. And she probably shared it with Kevin quite often. Can't tell if they were just best friends, but it seemed like Kevin was really into Zoe. So contact Brad to question him about the case. Let's go ahead and reach out to Brad. I guess I need to get his uh, number from the group chat. Chicks and Kicks. I'm sure they spelled spelled it wrong. I'm sure it's supposed to be a D instead of a K, but we'll, we'll, we'll call it Chicks and Kicks. <laughs> All right, where's Brad's phone number? It's It's in here. It's in here right there. There we go. Now chatting with Brad. Hey, Brad, this is Detective Adam Lane, and I am investigating the case of Zoe Leonard. You probably have heard from me from your friends, especially Betty and potentially even Kyle. Brad is offline. <laughs> Brad decided to, to block the hell out of me. <laughs> All right. Didn't even, didn't, that, that, that's sus, Brad. That's very, very sus. Call Brad. Oh, we, we, we about to. We're about to call him. How do I, do I have to memorize his phone number? Can I just, can I just, there we go. Contact, private. Oh, I can't, I'm gonna have to memorize his phone number from the, from, from the message here. All right, don't let me forget. 677-8654. 677-8654. All right, Brad. Better answer. I told you to stay away from me. This is my final warning. You don't know who I am and what I can do. I've got nothing to do with Zoe, so stop chasing me. All right, Brad. First off, you didn't say shit to me. <laughs> you didn't say stay away from you. And you, you, you child, you're going you're gonna to try to warn me. Oh, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you, Brad. <laughs> Talk to Rowan. All right. Hey, is this Adam Lane, the detective? You, you're absolutely right. You're at the right address. Yeah. Hey, look, who's who's this? I already know it's I already know it's Ron. You're working on Zoe's case. Zoe who went missing a few weeks back. Yes. Yes, I am. I am working on her case. Raw on this side. I was in one of Zoe's classes and I'm her neighbor as well. You got something for me, Ron? How'd you get my... Look, I don't really care. I got my number. Everyone's probably sharing my number around. Like, hey, don't talk to this guy. Here's his number. If you see this number, don't talk to him. But Ron's like, look, I need to talk to that detective. I got I got input. I got deets on this whole thing. <laughs> I need your help desperately. And Ron was the one that was having some issues with, uh, with, with the boys at that party. And I think it was Lily that was uh, going to pick Ron up. And, um, and potentially maybe even Zoe. And... Zoe was getting really upset with everything. Um, yeah, but what happened, Ron? I'll, I'll help you. I'll help. On the night of the party, Kyle and Brad come to get some drinks from Marjorie's, where I work part-time, and they sold two cartons. Drinks are sold in cartons? Oh, they stole. Not stole. sold. They stole two cartons. Interesting. It's a serious crime. Tell me more about it. I mean, but but I'm a detective. I'm not a police officer. I know that's like one in the same for the most part, but like you should be telling the police officers. I'm investigating a case of a missing girl, not the case of the missing alcohol. Like <laughs> I'm the wrong person to uh to be telling about. But but you know what? Tell me more. Tell me more. But they stole two. Maybe that's why Rowan was confronting them at the party because they they stole a bunch of bunch of booze my manager found out and gave me 30 days to find out who stole it or i have to pay the price and would lose my job as well what that doesn't make any sense like they stole from you and your manager's like you need to find you need <laughs> you need to be the detective of the missing booze or else i'm gonna make you pay for it and then fire you i think that's also illegal 
<laughs> the price is equivalent to a month of my salary. Two cartons? Two cartons of booze is, is the price of your monthly salary? Are you kidding? That's some expensive booze. That's, that's, that is some expensive hooch, my friend. <laughs> my life depends on this job. Please, I need your help. I am sorry, but I have other cases to, to take care of. Look, I'll, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, but I, I don't know how. I mean, you should probably call the police. Please check once if there is something that might help us prove that they stole from me. We can talk about that night afterward. How about we talk about the night now? I don't want to help you. Uh, I don't want you to help me based on favors. Please provide info on the night only if you're willing to. Look, I I don't want Rohan to help me based on favors. I need him to provide me details of what happened that night regardless whether I help him or not because that's the right thing to do, Rohan. Look, I'm trying to do the right thing by helping you. How about you do the right thing by just talking to me about that night? Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm really worried. My life depends on that job. I live here alone. I can't pay my tuition fees without this job. Don't worry. But can you tell me more about the about those cartons? At least give me a description of the carton. Look, I, I need to know more about the cartons. Which is weird that they call boxes or crates or cases of, of booze cartons it's a big brown carton with marjorie's logo on it and an id is printed on the left top left missing cartons had ids of ic then eights two one seven three eight and nine thank you sir for even trying i'm only doing this because brad needs to learn a lesson <laughs> I'm only doing this because Brad fucking ghosted me. He, he and he and he threatened me, but now he's gonna have to. He's, he's gonna have to pay for all this. He's, he's going to damn jail. Hey, he might not be involved in Zoe's missing, you know, missing missing case, but he he's involved in the missing hooch, and he's gonna have to go to some, do some jail time for that missing. Hooch. <laughs> Gather proof. Of the carton stolen for the party. How am I gonna do that? No, maybe the Pixable. Maybe there's something in here. Yes. Maybe, maybe. Where is it? There's the party. Merch. Another party. Hmm. There it is. Per I'm a damn genius. Damn genius. Thanks to the guys, obviously, for the best party of this year. And look, you got the number right there. And I'm sure that box below it is the other one. I mean, I would call them cases. I wouldn't necessarily call them cartons. But I, I, I'd probably call them cases. Cases of, of, of alcohol. And the thing is, is like if he's drinking that straight from the bottle and the, the, the multiple, to me, that's probably beer. And I'll, and two cases of beer is is Rohan's like an entire salary. That's <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That is that is pretty insane. So look there there you, you there you got your evidence, Rohan. Give that to your manager. Save your job and your low set monthly salary. I guess I'm sure you can find something better, Rohan. Something that pays a little bit better. <laughs> This is perfect. Thanks a lot, sir. I'll be right back. I have to. I have forwarded this to my manager. Thank you. My job is safe now. Happy to hear that, Rohan. My manager will take legal action against them. Perfect. They will finally know the consequences of committing such a crime. Although his dad would buy out the police like they always do. Yeah, probably. They'll probably get a slap on the wrist. Probably won't get. Probably won't even have anything on their on their records. Tell me everything about what happened at the party now. Now let's talk about the trespassing incident. Yeah, tell me everything that happened at the party. I'm not. I'm not going to get all crazy on Rohan about it. About trespassing. I had reasons to do everything I did. I went there to collect some proof. Yeah, you know he he was he was investigating the lost hooch and he was trying to find all the all the alcohol. So you did commit a crime by trespassing. I mean. Not really, but why trespassing? You could have taken your manager or someone else with you. You could have just called the police. That probably would have been the easiest and simplest thing to do. 
My manager didn't believe me and was in no mood to help. And if I was at, or if I was a party hosted at, and it was a party hosted at Kyle's mansion, there was no way they would have allowed me to enter. My livelihood depends on my job, and they stole from me. I had to do this. So I get it, Ron. Your it, it, your livelihood depend, depends on your job. You said like eight times. <laughs> what happened when you entered the party? How did you end up getting beaten? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's just ask. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw throw Ron under under like that. Let's just ask him what happened when he entered the party. Luck was not on my side that day. Kyle was outside only. The moment I tried to sneak in, he saw me. I knew I'm done. Next thing I know, I wake up at Lily's place. Damn, so they didn't even hold back. Kyle saw Ron, was like, you're mine. You're done. And then he didn't wake up until he was at Lily's place. Sounds like a tough day. I hope you're fine now. Yeah, you know, I hope you're okay. I'm better. I hope I was able to help. Not really. Zoe was not like Kyle, Betty, and others. She was always kind and polite. I hope you find her. So you didn't help me at all. Forty-eight days since the night of Zoe's disappearance. What's the next objective? Spy on the group chat activity. We will do that in the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying an Elmwood Trail as much as I am. Let me know if I'm helping you guys with these, you know, these like little mini game puzzles to figure out more information on Zoe's to, to kind of like collect on her records and stuff. Uh, if, if, if so, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I have. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.